you're next. Is this the mind-bending horror experience we all remember it being, or is this just another generic home invasion slasher? Well, let's get into it right now. So Your Next was released back in 2011 at a couple of film festivals and then it got a theatrical run in 2014 and let me tell you, the hype for this movie was real. When the reception and the feedback came out of the, uh, the film festivals, everybody was on this movie's side. The reception was very positive. Everybody was saying that Your Next is a game changer for the horror genre. This is going to be the movie to put horror back at that number one spot once again. And so in 2023, does the hype for Your Next still live up to that title, um, exceeding all horror fans expectations why well, we watched the film last night and I certainly have some stuff stuff to, yeah I cannot speak to I certainly have some stuff to say so let's go ahead and jump right into it so I guess first talking about the first two acts of this film it is exactly what we have come to expect in the home invasion subgenre it doesn't offer any new blood or energy it's literally you know beat for beat structure for structure what you what you had come to expect in the home invasion slasher subgenre and then the third act comes and it pulls the rug from underneath you and reveals the unexpected to you and the last 20 to half an hour of this movie happened and there's two big plot twists that this movie does, which at the time of this movie coming out, I mean, I will say that it was certainly unique. It was a step in the right direction for where this genre should go. But, you know, this film hasn't really, this film hasn't really defined that home invasion genre. So, you know, I'm sure anyone watching this video has already seen Your Next time and time again or are at least aware of what the big plot twist in this film is. But basically the whole twist of the film is this was an attack on the family and one of the brothers of this family are actually, you know, in charge of the in charge of the killings and that he wants to kill his parents, you know, to get the, to get the money and the rich and the fame off them because this film has a message I, this film has a message for the the wealthy versus the poor and how the wealthy have you know everything you know given to them on a golden you know platter and then the poor have nothing you know they can't go on overseas trips they can't you know buy expensive mansions expensive cars they have none of that luxury and I thought that was a very interesting idea because, you know, like the whole film, you know, you think it's like, you know, it's these hunters, um, you know, that are, you know, you know, th that want to get, you know, what these people had, you know, that have something against the wealthy people. At least that's what the, the first two acts kind of make you think. But then, you know, as I said, the film, you know, switches that over and it's actually how this family is, has almost like different rankings. So like the mum and dad come at the top of the tier list as being like, the, you know, the most fortunate of this family. And then, and then the brothers and all that and the girlfriends are at the lower bottom of the ranking. And, you know, just, I, I thought that was such an interesting concept. And the execution of it, you know, is fine. There's not a whole lot of... You know, there's not a whole lot of, you know, detailing or explanation. There's enough of an explanation here to see where these characters are coming from. And, you know, it makes you, you know, look back at the film, you know, differently that, you know, at why, at why they decided to get everybody, you know, together here. Because then, you know, because then they, they're the ones who, you know, who are last left alive. So... Obviously, you know, the money that they've put away is given to, I guess, to the last person standing. And, you know, I, you know to me, that is such an interesting fucking concept. And, you know, that was something that hasn't been done in the home invasion, you know, genre before. And 
when this film came out, it also had a it also had competition with The Purge, which was also another home invasion slasher film. And the way that, that film did it was making crime legal for one night and one night only. Well, 24 hours technically, but you know, if you really want to break it down, you know, it's really just one night. And so, you know, I you know, I found that interesting that the competition between these two films, but you know, your next hasn't spawned any sequels and you know, The Purge has gone on to be a really successful, you know, billion dollar franchise. And you know, and I think, you know, this is a film that I'm glad I didn't spawn any sequels. I think this is a fantastic standalone slasher film. So that's just the ending. That's just the ending there that I've been talking about. Um, and we find out, you know, that the guy behind this is our final girl's, you know, boyfriend. So, you know, there's that twist as well, which that twist was obvious as shit. Like, as soon as he left and, you know, never came back, it, it was just like, throughout the movie, this guy doesn't seem worried. This guy doesn't seem concerned. He's not panicking like the rest of the family here. Hmm, what's going on? Could he be a part of the killer's group? I think so. But anyways, uh, you know, moving that aside, you know, I thought, you know, that was, you know, a cool little scene to end it all off with. And now, the first two acts of this film, it is fine. You know, there's a fine setup here. Um, there's a fine group of characters. The characterization is very weak. Even on our eventual uh, final girl, there's not a whole lot of characterization given to her. All we really know about her is that, you know, she was brought up with a very particular set of skills that it just so happens that those skills that she learned uh, during her childhood actually come in handy when the attackers, you know, are, are abducting their home. You know, which, you know, I, I thought that was a cool way, I guess, to kind of flesh out her character, but then, but then that's really all we know. Is we know she's a 